Hey guys, Amy here. I'm um, just letting you know I made another video. Yay. Got to play. Took it outside today because it was gorgeous out. It still is. Uh, funny thing happened in the making of this video. I got cut off. Yeah. Didn't have my ankles right. Thought I did, but I got cut off. When I realized it, I was too deep into it. Um, oh look, there's Wrigley. See him in the back? Yay! Um, I was too deep into it to change, and that's okay, because you know what? It's not perfect. Life's not perfect. I fully did not expect anything to be perfect. It's to practice, and we're playing, and that's what it is. Um, so play. Today, you're going to need, there he is, he went to the other side. You're going to need two blocks and a strap. If you don't have a strap, use a belt, use a towel. If you don't have blocks, use something to elevate, books. Something we can play with the height. Uh, we're working on some shoulder stuff. You can use it to prop up your knees and your hips for hips and stuff like that. Just play. Have a great day, make good choices, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Hi guys, for today we need blocks and straps. So let's find our way into child's pose. Take the knees mat width apart, big toes together, extend those arms forward, sink. Get heavy, start to find a breath that you can come back to, and relax. If you're a little extra tight in the chest, think about grabbing a block, placing those forms on the block, allowing yourself to sink. Remember, there's three heights on that block you can play with. Inhales, exhales, let go, get heavy. If you're using the block, make sure you walk the arm across the block. Walking those arms to the left with or without the block. Active reach with that right arm, getting into the lat, creating some space in the intercostals, opening up. Exhale, release. Walk back through center, take it over to the right. Again, active reach, finding some space in those intercostals, opening up the lat. One more breath. Exhale, release. Find your way back to center. Root into those palms. Couple rounds of cat-cow here. Inhale, lift. Exhale, chin to chest. Work the shoulder blades away. Working in that T-spine, keeping the lumbar spine out. Movement's a little smaller than your traditional cat-cow. One more. Inhale, back to center. Root into the palms. Shift forward. Find your way into table. Shoulders over wrists, knees under hips. Inhale, lift the chin, open the chest. Exhale, chin to chest, belly in. Couple rounds here, warming up the spine. Add your own special extras. Maybe you point and or flex the feet, rotate the wrists, wiggle your hips. Work the kinks out. Whatever you need to do, make this your yoga. Inhale, reach, take that left arm up. Exhale, thread it underneath. Come all the way down to the shoulder. So we're actively reaching towards the right. Right arm can be reaching forward. You can walk it over to the left. You can even take it around your low back if you'd like to. Active reach. One more breath. Exhale, release. Take that left arm back up. Bend the elbow, hand behind head. Inhale, open. Exhale, elbow towards the right inner crease of that elbow. Opening up that T-spine. Inhale, reach. Exhale, release, come back to center. Let's do the other side. Inhale, right arm comes up. Exhale, thread it underneath. So it's an active reach, shoulders down. Make sure the shoulder's on the mat. Lift the hips up as much as you need to. Extend that left arm forward. Walk it to the right. Take it around your low back. Whatever you need to make this the most effective. Keep reaching. One more breath. Inhale, lift, exhale, unthread. Take that right arm back up, bend the elbow. Inhale, reach, exhale, elbow towards that left elbow crease, rounding through the T-spine. Let's go for four rounds total. One more time. Last round, inhale, extend, come back, find your table. Curl those toes under, root into the palms. Lift the knees up, send the hips up, pull back, find your down dog. Once you get there, walk your dog. Wag your tail, wiggle the hips. Let's keep a bend in the right knee only, working the left heel down. Your option for more is to step your right foot on the back of the left heel or drape the shin on the back of that calf. Release and let's switch sides. Same thing, same options on the right. Slight bend in the left knee, step the left foot on the back, drape the shin. One more breath. Exhale, release, down dog. Settle in. Start to walk the hands back towards your feet, forward fold at the back of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, hands to hips creases, engage the glutes. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Arms overhead. 
Inhale, lengthen. Right hand grabs left wrist. Inhale to the right. Left hand grabs right wrist. Inhale, take it over to the left. Inhale, exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, walk it forward, plank pose. Toes or knees. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. This is where I start to get cut off in the video. I apologize for that. After that vinyasa, exhale back to your down dog. Inhale, lift the right leg. Let's exhale, knee to chest. Step it through. Root into the left hand. Right arm reaches up. Open. Exhale, release. Step back. Vinyasa. Or skip it and go straight to down dog. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, knee to chest. Hug it in. Step through. Stack the knee. Belly is in. Take that left arm up. Exhale, release. Step it back. Vinyasa. Down dog. Your option. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, knee to chest, step it through. Come down to that left heel. Inhale, lift up, find your warrior one. So knees over ankle, squaring those shoulders towards the front. Inhale, find some length in the torso. We're rooting into the pinky toe edge of that back foot. Exhale, hands behind, interlace, use a strap. Engage the glutes, inhale, lift, exhale, humble warrior. Inhale, find some length. Exhale, release those arms. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, release. Frame the foot. Step it back. Vinyasa or skip it. Finding your way back to down dog. Let's do the other side. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, knee to chest. Come down to that right heel. Inhale, lift, warrior one. Shoulders are square. Knee is stacked. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands behind. Interlace, squeeze a strap, squeeze a block. Engage the glutes. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, we fold. Humble warrior. Lengthen. Exhale, release. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, fold. Step it back. Vinyasa. Or down dog. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, knee to chest. Step it through. Come back up. Find your way back to warrior one. Shoulders are square. Inhale, reach. Exhale, arms come in front, shoulder height. Wiggle those shoulders around, create some space. Go big, left under right, find some eagle arms. Maybe we're giving yourself a big hug today. Inhale, elbows lift. Exhale, we hinge and fold forward, humble warrior with eagle arms. Getting the back this round. Arms interlaced behind, gets the front. This is getting the back. Exhale, release those arms. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, fold. Step it back, vinyasa or down dog. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, knee to chest. Step through. Come back up. Find that warrior one. Square the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, arms come down, shoulder height. Wiggle the shoulders around, create some space. Go big, eagle arms right under left or that big hug. Inhale, lift. Exhale, we fold. Humble warrior. Inhale, find that length. Exhale, unravel the arms. Inhale, lift, warrior one. Exhale, fold. Step it back, vinyasa or down dog. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, knee to chest, step through. Come back up, find your warrior one one more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands behind, opening up that front body once again. Inhale, lift. Exhale, we hinge and fold. Start to pivot to the left tippy toes. Bend deep in that right knee. Get that launch pad. Maybe step the left foot in. Inhale, lift up. Warrior three with those humble warrior arms. Embrace your wobble. Exhale, left foot next to right. Chair pose. Long spine, neutral pelvis. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or hop it back. Plank pose, vinyasa, or down dog. Let's do the other side. Inhale, left leg comes up. Exhale, step it through. Find your warrior one. Settle in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands behind. Shoulders back, chest is open. Inhale. Exhale, we fold. Start to pivot to the right tippy toes. Bend deep in that left knee. Get your launch pad. Inhale, take flight. Warrior three. Embrace your wobble. Undo those arms if you have to. Bring the hands to the mat if you need to. Exhale, step right foot next to left. Chair pose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or hop it back. Vinyasa or skip it. Find your way to down dog. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, knee to chest. Step through. Come back up, warrior one. 
Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, arms in front. Let's find those eagle arms one more time. Inhale, elbows up. Exhale, we fold. Begin to pivot to the left tippy toes. Get that launch pad and that right quad. When you're ready, take flight, warrior three. Lift up. Embrace your wobble. Whoa. Exhale, slowly step that left foot next to the right. Inhale, chair pose. This time, let's find some length. Exhale, hands to heart, belly in. Let's take a chair twist. So left elbow finds a home outside left the right knee. Work your leverage. Play. Exhale, release. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Vinyasa or skip it. Find your way back to down dog. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, knee to chest. Step through. Warrior one. Settle in. Inhale. Exhale, arm shoulder height. Find those eagle arms right under left. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Eagle arm, humble warrior. Pivot to the right tippy toes. Get that launch pad in that left quad. Inhale, lift up, take flight. Think about getting long with each breath. Embrace your wobble. Exhale, deep bend, step right foot next to left. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart, belly in. Take that twist, right elbow outside left knee. Exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, step or hop it back, plank pose. Vinyasa or down dog. Inhale, plank. Root into that right palm, shoulder over wrist, open up for some side plank. Stack the feet. You can step the top leg over or drop the bottom knee towards the mat for more balance. Exhale, release, really switch sides. So stacking left shoulder over the wrist for stability. Again, same options for the feet. Stack, drop a knee or step the top leg up and over. One more breath. Exhale, release, vinyasa, or down dog. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, knee to chest, dropping that right heel. Cartwheel it up this time. Find our way to warrior two. Knee over ankle, shoulders over hips. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse warrior. Slide that left arm down the thigh. Open up. Inhale, center, get long. Exhale, extended side angle, form to thigh. You can take that hand to your mat or one of those blocks. Left bicep is by your cheek. Nice long line. Let's tick tock through these one breath each. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. One more time. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Hold it here. Inhale, warrior two. Next breath, straighten that right leg. Inhale, reverse triangle. Inhale, center. Exhale, extend. Take it down, triangle pose. Remember, shoulders and hips are in the same plane as if we were leaning up against a wall. So we don't want the torso coming forward. Notice where my hand is. It's on my shin. It doesn't have to be all the way down to the mat. Exhale, release. Inhale, come back up tall. Exhale, warrior two. Take it down. Find your extended side angle. Inhale, reach. Exhale, step left foot next to right chair pose. Inhale, root into that right foot, start to lift up, find your way to tree, take that left foot with you. Grow tall, neutral pelvis, no scrunching with those toes. Exhale, release, baby squat. So take that left knee behind the right. Exhale, squat, inhale, extend, warrior three. Exhale, deep squat, inhale, warrior three. Exhale, squat, inhale, warrior three. Step it back, step right foot next to left, vinyasa or down dog. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, bring the knee to the chest, step it through, cartwheel it up, find your way to that warrior two on the opposite side. Inhale, reach forward, exhale, slide that right arm down, find your reverse warrior, open up that side body. Inhale, center, exhale, extend, extended side angle. Again, form to thigh. Hand to your block or the mat. And let's get ready to tick tock through these two poses. One breath with each, starting now. Inhale, exhale, reverse. Inhale, exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. 
exhale, extend. Last one, exhale, extend. Inhale, warrior two. Straighten that left leg. Inhale, reverse triangle. Inhale, center. Exhale, triangle pose. Hinge forward. Play where you are today, which will determine where that hand goes. Inhale, center. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reach. Slowly start to check out that left foot. Step right foot next to left chair pose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands to heart. Rooting into that left foot, slowly inhale, come up to stand. Take right leg with you. Build a tree. Play with your tree. Don't scrunch with the toes. Let the stabilizers take over. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands to heart. Release. Take that right knee behind the left, baby squat. Inhale, extend, warrior three. Embrace your wobble. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squat. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squat. Embrace that wobble. Slowly step that right foot back. Left foot meets. Find plank pose, vinyasa, or down dog. Settle in. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga, taking it down to the mat. So from here, we're going to need to grab that strap and those two blocks or whatever options you have, books, pillows, something to elevate the arms. So with your strap or towel, make it shoulder width. The tighter the shoulders are, the wider you're going to have your arms. The more open your shoulders, the more narrow they're going to be. Taking your blocks, place the forearms on the blocks. So we want the wrists on the outside of the blocks. Gaze is down, neck is long. Engage those lats, pull the strap taut. Inhale, lift, both arms off the blocks. Exhale, release. Windshield wiper those shins, release any tension that might've happened in the back. Let's lift them up and launch. Same thing, wrists are off, gaze is down, engage your lats. Inhale, lift those arms off the blocks. Hold it, hold it, you've got it. One more breath. Exhale, release. Windshield wiper those shins. Taking it up to the highest level. Forearms on the blocks, wrist hanging off, strap is nice and taut, neck is down, gaze is down, neck long, engage those lats, inhale, lift. Hold it, hold it, hold it, let those arms hover over the blocks, you've got this. Exhale, release. Windshield wiper those shins. Remove the blocks. Palms by chest. Let's extend the left arm straight off from the shoulder. Inhale, press into the right. Exhale, roll over to the left. You can keep those legs stacked. You can bend that top knee, plant the foot behind you. You can bend both knees, plant both feet. All depends on how open you are today. Remember, today is different than yesterday, and it'll be different than tomorrow. Exhale, start to release. Come back to the center. Wiggle that arm out. Switch sides. Extend the right. Press into the left. Inhale. Exhale, roll open. Again, stack. Bend one or two knees. Allow yourself to be heavy. Just be. Let's give this one more breath. Stack the feet. Slow and control, roll back to your belly. Take that right arm alongside, shake it out. Both palms by your chest. Inhale, lift up, up dog or cobra. Exhale, come on down to your knees. Take a child's pose. Extend those arms forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, find your way to down dog. Inhale, take that right leg up. Hopefully you don't hit a chair. Open the hips, let's bend the knee. And then slowly, we're setting it for that pigeon prep. Start to work the right knee behind the right wrist. As you extend through the left heel, create some length. That right shin, it may or may not be parallel to the mat. That's fine. Listen to your hips. Let your joints dictate where you go. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, lead with the collarbones. Start to fold. I've taken myself down over a block to let the block do the heavy lifting so I don't grip through this. At this point, if you like, you can pause the video and hang out in your pigeon a lot longer, up to two minutes. With each breath, let go, get heavier. 
Again, don't grip, don't try and force yourself up on your forearms. If you're doing that, allow the block to take over. Settle in. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, remove your block. Curl the right toes under, left toes under, lift the knee. Press yourself up, step back, down dog. Inhale, left leg, bend that knee, open the hips. Exhale, shift forward, bring that left knee behind the right wrist. Extend through the right heel. Let that left shin go where it's going to go. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, drive with those collarbones, not the shoulders. Come forward and fold. Again, allow yourself to be heavy. Don't brace. Use the block. Let the block do all the heavy lifting. Place it under your torso. Again, feel free to pause the video and hang out a little longer. The longer you're there, you might change the height on the block. Things might become a little bit more open and accessible. Each exhale, get heavy. Inhale, find some length. Notice where you're gripping. Inhale, lift. Curl those toes under. Step back, down dog. Heel toe the feet mat with the part. Let's take a quick twist. Right hand somewhere on that left leg. Take a twist. Look under the shoulder. Go ahead and switch sides. Left to right. Take a twist. Look under that shoulder. Exhale, release. Heel toe the feet together. Inhale, flow forward plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. Come on back down dog. Bending those knees. Check out the front. Bend your knees. Step, hop. Take a seat. Let's play with that cobbler's pose. So we're bringing soles of feet together. We're opening them up like a book, allowing the knees to come down. So if your knees are staying high and they're a little chatty, let's prop them up with those blocks. If your back is cranky, sit up on the blocks. Inhale, get nice and tall. Driving with the collarbones, not the shoulders. Start to hinge and come forward. Feel free to take a block and place it on top of your heels. Build a little tower to rest the torso on. Extend the block in front of your feet. Give your hands a place to rest. Exhales, let go. Inhale, find some length. The object here is not to pancake all the way down to the mat like Instagram, because this is real life. We want to find some opening in the hips, in those adductors, the inner thighs. Again, feel free to pause and hang out here as long as you need. Inhale, slowly lift. Hands come outside the knees. Bring those knees together. Let's just shift the feet further forward. Round through the spine as we fold. Options to take a block on top of your feet for your head to rest. For more, you can thread the arms underneath your shins, wrap around those calves. Each exhale, get heavy. Let go. Notice where you're gripping. Try and stop. If you thread the arms on thread, slowly lift all the way up. Hands to knees, bring those knees together. And then let's play with a nice side twist. So I want you to take your right chin parallel to the front edge of your mat, your left knees right off the left hip. Find that 90-90 position, ankle below the knee. Inhale, get tall, belly is in. Exhale, start to rotate to the right. Come down to your mat, come down to a block. Gaze in the direction of your twists. If you wanna make it a little easier, you can gaze towards your left. Inhales again, we wanna find some length in that spine. Exhales, let go. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, maybe we twist open a little more. Settle in. Enjoy the twist. Inhale, start to lift up. Exhale, release under your twist. Lean back just enough to swap out those legs. So this time it's the left shin parallel to the front. Right knee is coming right off the hip, ankle below the knee. Inhale, tall, belly in for some space. Exhale, we twist and rotate to the left. So same thing. Rotate flat towards the mat, 
resting on your forearms, maybe your belly. Maybe we're taking a block and we rest on the block. Inhale, find some length. Exhale, see if we have any more space, any more room to twist. And again, allow yourself to be heavy. If you notice that you're trying to force the pose and trying to hold it, stop. Inhale, lengthen. Start to lift up. Exhale, release. Undo those legs. And we're going to come into that double pigeon this time. So we have left shin on the bottom, right shin on the top, ankle over knee, knee over ankle. If that top knee is elevated, if it's chatty, let's prop it with that block. Remember your options, crisscross applesauce, seated figure four. And we want to think about these double pigeons as the knees coming more off of the hips versus going really wide. We don't want to do that. So again, knees coming more directly off the hip. Ankle over knee, knee over ankle, sit up tall. We drive with those collarbones, not the shoulders, and hinge at the hips coming forward. Take those blocks, prop them up on your shins, build a tower for your torso. Take them in front for your arms, your forearms to rest. Inhale, find length. Exhale, let go. Feel something in those hips. Feel free to pause the tape and hang out a lot longer. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, let go. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lean back just enough to undo and swap out those legs. So this time right ankle is below left knee, knee over ankle. Prop up the knees as needed leading with those collarbones, hinging at the hips, starting to fold forward. Settling in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, let go. Notice if you're gripping, release that. Inhale, exhale, release, undo those legs. And then let's start to roll down to our backs. And from here, we're gonna play with those hip flexors in the psoas. So let's heel toe the feet mat width apart. Go ahead and windshield wiper both knees over to the right. Maybe the right foot goes on top of the left thigh to get it a little deeper. Feel free to take those arms overhead, grabbing the opposite elbows, create some length on the side. So same thing here. Notice if you're gripping and trying to hold on to this pose or trying to hold it in a specific spot. Don't do that. Just let it go. Become very heavy. Permission to do less. Exhale, release the right foot. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, windshield wiper to the left. Same option for more. Left foot on top of right thigh. And if you have the arms overhead, let's go ahead and swap out the one that's on top. Again, do less. Don't hold it. Just let it be what it is. Stay heavy. Let's start to release that left foot. Inhale, bring the knees back to center. Find your block. Feet are hip width, set up like we're coming into bridge pose. We're gonna take this block, we're gonna place it underneath our hips. So tilt the pelvis, engage the glutes, lift those hips, place the block underneath. We have the three heights on the block, small, medium, and large. The large, the tall one, not the best one. Let's stick with small or medium. So with the knees are bent, I want you to extend the left leg straight out, arms overhead, interlace those fingers. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, slide the left heel to the right, slide the arms to the right. You now look like a banana. So we're getting the psoas a little more, just attacking it from a different angle. And the different heights on the block will create a different sensation. You can definitely do this without and be flat on the floor. 
but I do encourage you to try it with a block and elevate the hips. So let's release. Exhale, release the left leg. Extend the right. Inhale, extend, get long. Exhale, slide the right heel to the left. Slide the arms to the left. Find that banana shape one more time. Steady breath. Exhale, release. Come back to center. Bring those arms alongside, bending both knees. So now we're in supported bridge. Awesome option for your Shavasana, by the way. Hanging here, again, you do have those different heights to play with on the block. If you'd like to come out, tilt the pelvis, lift the hips, remove the block. Set up for Shavasana. Knees bent, soles of feet can come together, knees open, you can place blocks under the knees as needed, or extend the legs straight out, arms, arms alongside. The other option is to take that block, you can place it underneath your bra or bro strap and open up the chest. Again, play with the height, come down, lie down on the block, allow the shoulders to open, the head to hang. Start with knees bent. If that feels really good and you want more, then you can start to work towards soles of feet together, allow the knees to open. Hang out here for a breath or two, see how that feels. And if you need more, you can extend the legs. So in your Shavasana, whichever version you've taken, whatever it looks like, start to come down to that breath. That four count inhale, adding your slight pause, doubling your exhale. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Pause, exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, fill the belly up, last three, four, pause, exhale, empty completely, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one, pause, exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, arms overhead. Interlace the fingers, get long. Exhale, start to bring the knees into the chest. Give them a hug. If you're on a block, slow and controlled, roll yourself off the prop and start to roll onto your right. Think about squeezing the block between your knees to keep those hips stacked. Melt onto your forearm. Continue with your steady breath. Inhale, minimal effort. Press yourself up to seated. Easy crisscross applesauce. Shoulders down. Neck is long. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale. Exhale, hinge and fold forward. Namaste. Thanks for playing, guys. Make great choices. See you later.